In this box, I have a handbag in a very bright color. I've been looking for a bag in this color for a couple of months, finally found one. I hope it's the right color because I haven't seen it in person, and I don't think I can return this. Anyway, let's just get into it. Stay tuned to see what I got. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. I'm gonna move just a tad closer here because I feel like I'm a little too far away from the camera. That's better. Before I show you what's in the box, let's show you the bag of the day. I actually have two that I've been carrying lately and I haven't totally switched out of either of them. The first is the Coach Cash and Carry Tote. This is in the 30 centimeter size, if I remember correctly, and I have a whole video on this. I can link that below for you. This is a recent release for spring 2022 and it has pearl art that's from New York City on the front. I have the whole story behind that, behind the pearl art and the, behind the bag and why I wanted that bag. Also, let me tell you, I have carried this bag now and these thin straps that a lot of people would have no interest in this bag because of those thin straps. I was one of those people. I bought it for other reasons. I tell you what, they haven't bothered me at all and they do feel very sturdy. They are reinforced. You can see here with these little rivets. I don't think they'll come apart. They better not. It doesn't hurt my hand. I've had some weight in this bag and it's really comfortable and I would recommend it. My other bag of the day, my smaller bag, is this Longchamp Le Pliage Tote in the nylon in the taupe color. And you guys know I love these bags. I'm about to buy another one today. <sighs> can't stop buying bags, you guys. There are just too many that I love. And I'll reveal another bag to you that I didn't feel like it really justified a whole unboxing of its own, but some of you may remember that I have this bag. This is the Rebecca Minkoff Edie shoulder bag. This actually has a crossbody strap on it in the nylon. And this is like a khaki green kind of color and it has gold hardware. I got this brand new off Nordstrom Rack, I believe. Might have been Saks Off Fifth, but I think it was Nordstrom Rack. And then I saw this one on the Real Real and I thought, well, I need that too because that's even more the green that I love. And this one has gunmetal hardware and I wanted to have one of these with the silver hardware. So this is perfect. These are probably the only two I'll add, but never say never because I love these. And I know that they don't have a lot of great reviews on YouTube, but that's changing because I'm making videos about them and I love them. It's time to get into this box. This purchase is from The Real Real, so it is a pre-loved handbag. And I know The Real Real has its problems and I have certainly had problems with them. You guys have told me about problems you've had with them, but I tell you what, most of my collection is pre-loved and most of it is from The Real Real. I have found some really wonderful things and every once in a while there's a not so great experience but overall I've had a lot of success with them. Paperwork and inside the box is that. Just a quick peek. The bag is in. Wow a giant real real dust bag. I think you've got a peek of the color there. Where is the opening? Here it is. It's a little floppy. It needs to be stuffed. <gasps> yes. Here is the bag. This is the Tory Burch Kira bag. And I have another one of these I need to grab and compare this to because maybe I'm just getting it confused with the Rebecca Minkoff Edie bag, but I see some things that are different I wasn't quite expecting. This color yellow is exactly what I wanted. Score. I was worried it would be too much of a bright yellow. And on my little screen, it's coming across as a bright yellow but it's really more of a mustardy yellow with some orange in it. I'll have to compare it to some things, to some other yellows perhaps, so you can see the difference. Let me take a look at this. Look at the corners. Those look good. You guys remember I've been looking for a yellow bag and I had been talking about the Saint Laurent Toy Lulu and the cheddar color or cork. They have a few different names for it. It's the same color as this. And I just, that bag was small. I knew I was going to get annoyed with the interior capacity on that bag. The outside size of the bag was good, but it wasn't gonna hold everything I wanted it to hold to carry it as often as I wanted to carry it. Plus I didn't wanna pay $1,600 for it. I got this for just over 300. This should have one snap right in the middle. Yep, and it's not difficult to do or undo. It's a magnetic snap. Let's check out the inside here. It has two main compartments. 
and those are separated by this divider here that has a zipper on it, so that's a third compartment for you. The front of the bag has two card slots there. Actually, they're bigger than card slots. And then on the back wall, you have a zippered pocket. And I can't tell in this light if the interior is a dark navy. That's what it's looking like to me, but it might be black. My light might be altering the color a bit. Now, one thing that is not what I thought it was is that this is just one strap. It is adjustable. It appears to be on the shortest setting right now, but this is basically a long shoulder bag. Let me do mod shots and get that out of the way. So shortest length here, long shoulder bag, or it could be crossbody. That's a good length for me, crossbody. I could do it a little bit longer. But I thought that it was going to have two holes where you'd be able to double the strap and wear it as a shoulder bag where it would sit more up here, or you could carry it on one long strap and have a crossbody. Let's compare it to my other Kira bag and see if they're the same, because I don't remember. I haven't carried that in a while. I feel like it has two where you can do what I just described. This is my other Kira bag. The leather on this feels different. I said that when I first unboxed this bag, it feels not sticky, but almost, whereas this one just feels like normal leather, whatever that means. But yes, this has the two holes on top, so you can do the doubled shoulder or the longer one strap crossbody. This should have the same layout. It does have the same layout. It's exactly the same inside. Well, that's interesting. I don't know much about Tory Burch, so I know some of you are gonna know a lot more than I do. When did that change? Are all the Kiras like this now? Or do all the Kiras have two straps now? The two straps is definitely better. You get more options with that. Interesting. It doesn't bother me because the color is the star of the show here, and I'm really glad to finally have a yellow bag. I also, if you like these kinds bags. I have several of these Rebecca Minkoff Edie bags, and these are all comparable to the YSL Lulu. I have videos comparing my Edie bag to my Tory Burch Kira. I'll link all that below in case you want to check it out. Spoiler alert, this bag won, but I couldn't find it in this kind of yellow that I want. So when that popped up on the real reel, I snagged it quickly. All right, now let's compare this bag to some other yellow things. Before we do that, I'm going to put the strap inside because it keeps hitting things and making noise, and that is going to be annoying for all of us. And I don't know how helpful these comparisons will be for color, but hopefully it'll help some. I'm doing what I can. Here's a container of lemonade Girl Scout cookies. This is a very bright yellow. This is not. Let me step farther away from my lights because I think that, yeah, that was having a big impact. This is more the color it is. The lights are making it a lot brighter. So you should be able to see how bright yellow the cookies are compared to this bag, which looks more like a cheddar cheese color. I also have this shirt that's a similar color. Got that at Macy's. It's from Karen Scott. And I just bought this shirt yesterday. It's from DR2. Got it at TJ Maxx. Those will look great together. Fabulous. That will also work with my green bags and my turquoise bag. And one last comparison of an orangey, almost yellowy color, the Louis Vuitton bag. So you can see it's not quite that orange, but it is not bright yellow. Makes sense? I hope that helps. I won't do what fits in this video because I already have videos about the taupe bag and it would be the same, so that stuff will be linked below. I finally found my yellow bag. I'm very excited about that. And thank you guys for your support and your suggestions when I've talked about that before. Also, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.